Here we go. This is the beginning of this song called uh, 2020, The Year of Demons. This is me. Uh, how do I look, baby? <laughs> Whoa, dude. Alright, so. Check out the scent, man. Or lady. <laughs> Super JV 64 voice synthesizer module. Now, I got the TR-8. What we're going to do is use the scatter effect. Now check this out, I hit start. All right, that's kind of quiet, but I'm gonna turn this up. Turn this up, the KC60. Now, there's that's the bass drum. Okay, so you see this? This thing has four banks, preset banks. I'm going to go to uh, General MIDI. You might say, why General MIDI? Well, on this thing, each tone, each patch has four tones. And you can kind of hear the TR-8. But what I'm doing with the TR-8 is turning the drums off and using scatter. I got it set for tap, scatter tap. So that's the piano, right? Now, here's my recording device, RC300. Hey, how's it going? Like, tell it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the JV1080, now we're going to just scoot on through to the synth stuff on the general MIDI side of it. The reason I'm using the general MIDI is nothing's generic on the 1080, okay? Check out Halo. That's a good one to use. Let's use that. It's got three out of the four turned on. I don't know what four is. Let's just use the first three. And now, this thing's still going, the TR-8. I'm just using a stupid Casio Privia for MIDI control. At the time being, I'd like to get the System 8. But, Halo Pad, so what we do is, with this machine, it's awesome for microtonal. I'm going to run microtonal. Parameter. Pitch. See that? Pitch. It's out of focus. Dang, buddy pitch hit that now see this course fine random see the the arrow so if I do downward on this on the arrow it goes to other things for the pitch okay it's got course fine it's got this random and key flow thing the key flow is an easy access microtonal Random isn't an easy access microtonal, but it's random. This kind of changes the scale on the keys. So I can do both of those. You can do coarse and fine, but coarse is like the tonal center, whereas random is like a random. But if you, I'll show you. So what we're going to do, if you hit palette, that shows you all at once. So palette for pitch. It'll show you it for all three voices, four normally, but we only have three to use, which is plenty for microtonality. And then, for microtonality, I'm going to multi-track this on the looper, the RC300, microtonal. Without, um, this isn't going to have rhythm. I want to experiment with scatter effect by turning most of the drums off. See, look at that close hat you can hear it you can hear the scatter but the cool thing is line in on the TR8 does scatter so if I line in some weird microtonal stuff for this song so how do we do that fast well there's two things I want to do this thing can do all that stuff it can do tons of stuff I'm not like an expert in all this stuff but pitch this is the course tune, so let's just kind of jam it out. 
Let's do negative like 14, positive 4, negative 4, and 3 is off, I guess. So we'll ignore 4, I mean 4 is off. So okay, so that's coarse tune. Down, fine tune, uh, plus 7, minus 6, minus 7. Alright, that doesn't do a lot. Random pitch. Random pitch goes to 1200 max. That's going to definitely mess up the tonality. 600. And at that, no, nah, yeah, 700. Key follow. This is like, this changes it real weird and it can go negative. Negative 10. No, nah, let's do, whoops. Let's do plus. 70. That's like uh, the equivalent of like 100 EDO or something. Plus 150 and plus 10 or something. And the fourth one is not on, so that's cool. Three is a lot anyway. These other ones I don't really. Nah. See, that's the thing is cool with general MIDI is most of them are not super elaborate general midi is kind of like the most flat settings of the presets I'm just doing this on the fly so the next thing is since we're on palette is gonna be the wave now this is the actual waveforms so this can be altered during the course of the recording is the waveforms and the tuning we're talking about this is the voice ah this is a JP string and this is another voice ah so let's just change them um, to something else trumpet now we're trying to think of something for the TR8 that's going to interact with the scatter so probably something that synthetic and stuff not sitar or anything let's see like not guitar but they sound pretty cool sometimes uh, not E piano or nothing. Let's try. There's two banks. There's I and B, A and B. So JP8 saw. Let's try that with a. Uh, well, it was on. It was on JP strings. Let's try that with uh, this one. Let's go to B on this one. You can totally change it. It has weird loops. Let's try loop uh, one. No, let's try loop seven. Now I'm going to hit like a note. Oh, that's pretty cool. Look. Now, go on that. Yeah. See it? Input level. It's not pat, you know. You got to adjust the input level. Alright, so then you just hit record, right? Now it's recording. Now, what I'm going to do is hit that note, right? Here we go. This is the beginning of the track. Now i got to hit that with my finger, right? So how am I going to do this? Alright, see that? Now watch. This thing's got depth. See, depth is at 1, but it can go all the way to 10. So you got 10 varieties of depth. It's not really depth, it's just variety. They're, they're mean by depth is like weirdness. Like 1 is the most like the normal and 10 is the most like crazy. But 10 will not have the actual tone in it. So I'm just going to do 1 for now. And then we're going to do any of these has the pattern. You can scoot it around. And I got it set up so... I can change the tempo. See the drums aren't on, but my point is that the scatter effect doesn't care. See that's the drum, but
can see this side chain look uh, see it side chain now when you bring that in see if we do track record you can see there's different it's got different steps on side chain all kinds of steps on it Focus, buddy. Now I'm gonna hit stop on the loop machine. Now I'm gonna hit play on it, right? You can check it. Check the loop machine. I just got a mono amp. I need to get another KC60. It's playing. I guess I didn't hit it right away. It should come in. It better come in soon. Come on, where is it? Nothing? What, I didn't record? Come on. That's weird. There it is. Okay. Now, this is not the. That's just the recording. Alright, so that, that's the recording. It's about 30 seconds of blank space on there. So, what am I going to do? Well, the coolest thing to do for the second track is to go in. Alright, so I had one of those loop patches on it. Let's just not do that. A lot of the IB ones is uh, percussion. Like the drum channel, but... Jazz bass. Nah. 
synth bass. So let's try synth bass C, and then let's try. Um, pads won't come through. Fanta synth is like a. That's pretty cool. And then uh, saw. Uh, synth saw. Vox are kind of kind of soft, so. Sawtooth, squares, um, synth square. Yeah, there's a time and place for synth square. Okay, so we'll go back to pitch. And for the second track over, I probably won't even have any drums. Well, we could we can screw with the drums. I don't know. The whole point is that which is really great. The TR-8 can use scatter when the drums are not even on. So, it's like a solo scatter effect. It's the sickest thing. Let's do a, uh, what, font, a oh, course tuning, plus 10. This just creates variation, like in the actual microtone. Okay, so that's weird. Um, fine tuning, you really don't hear fine tuning that well. But just for the sake of the demo. Alright. Now random pitch is where it's getting real freaky. So let's do uh, 1100 on the far side. 800 there and leave it at 1200. Okay. Pitch key file. This changes like the overall EDO of the keyboard or something like that. I can't explain it all. Let's do plus 50. Let's do like negative or something. Let's do like plus 200. Now it's really going to be weird. Let me hit it. So it threw out the keyboard. It goes high pitch on the low side. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna hit record on this to record another track for the song 2020 Year of the Demons. Now we've got depth on that. Let's go up to four. All right. Let's just you can actually move that while you do it. You can do that. So that's just the closed hat. Let's try. There you go. That's going to be recorded. Let me do scatter with my pinky.
Okay, so that's two tracks. You could always add more, but since it's microtonal, it's got tons of infos in the tonalities. So two tracks is good for this. There it starts again. I could add more, but I'll stop it. And with this piece, you have to hit right where it won't save, and it's going to write to 40 on the USB. It's my USB, so hit right. And now it's going to go through into there. It takes about 20 seconds or something. And it's going to write it into the folder. 40. There's 100 folders. Or 99 or whatever. And it's a 2-track. So when you use this machine for 2-track, 3-track, you could add a bunch of tracks. It's all like in the edit. I'm not going to have to edit that much just a little bit in audacity so the audio track will be online and, stuff. and you just have to make sure it's not peaking on the levels and the most editing should be done in the machine so you have to adjust anything post production here and that's a basic kind of USB sound card in that and so you've seen the variations on that DB, so, and we're out.